I want to share with you guys my personal experience with Fortune Auto 510 coilovers for the past year. Hey guys, I'm Caleb with Black Pearl Media. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to get into this video and my one year review of Fortune Auto coilovers, the 510s and how they do on daily driving use. So for those of you who are new to the channel and new to this build, it was my brother-in-law Daniel's car and we are continuing the build. I know it's taking a little bit longer than when we first had a lot of momentum, but that's okay. It is not going anywhere. We are chipping away at it and there have been a lot of factors this year that have kind of dampened the progress on that, but rest assured, it's still here. I'm driving it every day and I wanna give you guys a really, really good review of the Fortune Auto coilovers, which these are my first pair. I was a little bit uh, skeptical to see how they would do daily driving. I was gonna focus it more on track use, but with uh, my daily being down and the Z being down as well, I've been driving this car a lot more than I thought I was going to. And I gotta say, I am impressed. So let's get into it. Let's start out with installation. Now, if you've never installed coilovers before, there are about 10 million videos, but you should check out my video because we did it with this specific vehicle, with these specific coilovers. And I have to say that the installation was buttery smooth. It went by very quickly. And with the help of our buddy, Steve, we got all of them installed and adjusted within just a few hours. After the install was done, we got some first impressions, which were that they felt very, very stiff, very, very nice on some back roads that we did right after we installed the coilovers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. Oh, nothing, dude. That's good. I don't know how it feels from the passenger side, but from the uh, driver's it's side, solid. it feels pretty planted. Not bad. Just wait till you do your front sway bar. This is going to be, that was, a, that's a, that's usually a huge bump. Yeah. That is huge. I am ecstatic about these coilovers that's right awesome. now. I'm ecstatic. This is so good. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you are debating whether you should buy the 500 or the 510. 510 are great and marketed for track use more specifically, but does that mean they're completely useless for daily driving? Well, I hope to answer that for you. Now, I don't have any 500 series with me to compare, and I'm sure they're fantastic daily coilovers for weekend track use, but does that mean that the 510s are no good on the daily side of things? Well, let me take you back to when I first put on some wheels and tires on Daniel's car that were the wrong spec and they had some poke to them and I had to run the coilovers at full stiff just so I wouldn't rub all over the place. That ride was very sporty, stiff I'd say. You, heard, you felt every single bump, every crack, every crevice, every pothole, everything. It was very jarring, but on smooth back roads and like track conditions, they were excellent. Very, very sporty. They felt excellent around the curves. They really gave you a lot of confidence and inspired you to really push your car. And I should mention that these wheels and tire setup was completely wrong for the car. It didn't last very long and I got them off there pretty soon after installing them not only because they were uncomfortable and didn't fit right, but because winter season was coming and I needed, I needed to swap on my winter tire and wheel package. And that's where these things really started to shine because I put on my wheels and tires for the winter and I was able to set the coilovers down to their softest setting and that's where these things really took me by surprise. Now, if Ultra Soft was a one and Break Your Spine was a 10, I would put the ride quality of the 510s on full soft at about a four, which is actually a really nice place for it to be and it was softer than I expected it to be. So it's kind of like um, OEM Plus, I would say, where it's a little bit sporty, but very soft and dailyable where you're not gonna be regretting having coilovers on your day-to-day -day commute. 
And after a year of abuse, I'm very, very happy to say that they've been holding up very, very well. I've had coilovers in the past that when put through those daily vigors of going back and forth to work and everything in between, they start to leak, they start to degrade, rust, and just fall apart. But not the 510s. They seem to be very high quality and something you would expect to keep for a long time because these are considered a forever coilover. What does that mean? That means that they should last as long as your car and you last. If your needs evolve, you can have them modify them, upgrade them, do whatever you need to suit your needs, and that's why they're considered a forever coilover. I do wanna mention that Fortune Auto is not paying me to say any of this. This is all my own personal experience, and I just really like Fortune Auto, and I will be wanting to put them on a lot of future builds. Next one is definitely the Z because those old coilovers on there are crusty, disgusting, and have to come off. And if that's a video you're interested in seeing, definitely subscribe to the channel. Overall, I would definitely recommend the 510 coilover for anything that you would need. And I wouldn't be afraid to go that route if you're not sure if you're gonna be doing more daily use, more track use, back row driving. They're gonna cover the spectrum and do everything that you want perfectly fine. I am very confident in telling you guys that I would recommend the 510s. Now, if you're just going to be doing daily use, going to some car shows, and you're just looking to lower your car, the 500s will suit your needs, I'm sure, and they're a little bit more cost effective. But if you're thinking, maybe I want to do some autocross, maybe I want to do some track use, maybe I want to go with my buddies on some back roads and really keep up with them and gear your car more towards that line of driving style, then I definitely think the 510s are worth the investment and worth the ride quality. Coilovers are something that can be easily skimped on and you go ahead and grab some you know, $300 coilovers that might last you a couple of months before they completely blow out and you're miserable and you hate your car. But if you take the time, save up some money and go with some quality products, then I would definitely recommend that. Just do it once, cry once, and you will have some very, very good coilovers that you will be proud to own and they will perform for you very well. I hope this helped you guys, just giving you my perspective and my point of view over the last year of ownership. I will definitely be purchasing again, and I'm not gonna have to be purchasing anything for the G35 for a long, long time, because as far as suspension goes, it is set up perfectly the way I like it right now. And I'm confident that as soon as I do take it to the track, I can just stiffen it up and be very competitive. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one.